Oh, were there not? Oops. Okay, well, I guess there weren't any. I said after every game. I'm going to jump into this game. We're going to go to game two in a moment. Just kind of fill the lobby with a couple of other people. They are somewhere. If you like the broadcast, guys, DominateDominion.com is the website. Uh, the in-game chat channel on North America is Dominate Dominion. Follow them on Twitter. It's at Dominate Dom. My gaming clan is Vato Clan. It's at Vato Clan on Twitter or uh, YouTube.com slash Vato Clan. Check out VODs at, uh, at that YouTube channel or YouTube.com slash Dominate Dominion. You can find those. It's stuff. We just need to grab a couple of people, put them in this lobby, and then, uh... And then go. It'll be good. It has a cola. You can't see it. Well, I assure you it's there. Right, dang it. Come on. Go away. Ha. There we go. Yeah, I want to see some Zerath too, man. Some Zerath would be really cool. Called Wrath. I like... There's a lot of champions that I wish I could see in games. But they just... You know, they don't, don't get picked. Because there's usually a case of there's someone better than them. Zerzul, there's plenty of Leona in Europe West. You can see some Leona tomorrow. And now to Sand plays some Karma. He's on one of those teams. I forget which one. I always get um, Beware Tall Grass and uh, what's it called? I always get Beware Tall Grass and Amputees. Kind of confused. Um, let's see what time tomorrow. Um. At nine, uh, at nine a.m. California time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Thema, if you remember, we got those IP boosts like four months ago, and I just haven't played at all because I've been casting and moving and doing other things. So I played like four games. I won one. I have nine more. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad a little bit. What's CST? Nine in Cali. Ten in Arizona. Eleven in Texas time. And then... Yeah, it should be... It shouldn't be seven in Central. Why is it 7 in Central? It goes up as it goes to the right, right? So if it's 9 in Cali and 10 in Arizona, it should be like 11 in in Texas time? Oh, he went to the wrong way. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be at whatever clock is correct. Um, there will be VODs for it. More info on that stuff tomorrow. And Woot! We have a completely full, uh, we have a completely full lobby. Uh, DominateDominion.com, this is our 34th week, doing, uh, League of Legends Dominion tournaments. We, uh, we make this tourney for you. It's free to enter. Bring your friends, come play. It doesn't cost you anything, just show up. Bring a team. You might win some RP. If you were going to play Dominion anyway, just come play the tournament. We like seeing new competitors, and you know what, it's a lot of fun. If you've never played in a tournament before, you should try it out. It's pretty cool. Looks like we're seeing the bands going down right here. We're seeing Ezreal, Talon, Amumu, and Brand are going to be your banes for today. You have to be level 30, you're right, sir, as well. I'm sorry. We can play in the, the stream games, though. I'm going to start running those again. The community stream games and things like that. You'll still be allowed to play in those. There's not a level limit on those. Specs, this is Paisel and Child Support versus Cheese Enema. This is going to be game two of the of the finals here. If Paisel and Child Support wins, they win the tournament. They get some RP. It's great. They use it to buy uh, champ skins and and champs and moon pages and things. I feel like RP has a finite amount of things you can buy. Unless you really, really like skins, so you can just basically buy things forever. There's always cool stuff to buy with that. I, 
I am ready. I need that bind from... I want to have a soundboard eventually for this. Boom! Alright, we are at the champion select screen. The chat bands were stuff I already forgot. That's great. Do I still have that image open? Let's find out. There we go. Okay. The chat bands were Ezreal, Talon, Amumu, and Brand. Now, Ezreal gets banned because he's got good range, he's got good mobility, he's got good damage. And he's got a long range interrupt. And Arcane Shift is great. You never know quite, quite where he is, but you know exactly what he'll do to you. Talon, good burst. He's stealthy and tricky. Good champion. Amumu has AoE damage. He's tanky. He's got a snare and a stun and percent damage. And in the durable and delay meta that sort of Dominion's in, percent damage is really, really useful. Brand also has percent damage on his passive. Also, he has a lot of AoE. So, Brand can zone pretty hard. Now, we're seeing Teemo get banned as well. And Teemo has got good map control. Wait, there's a candy cane cat? Are you serious? I need to buy that. I need to buy that. Like, right now. I'll do it after this game is over. Alright. So, Teemo gets banned because he has really, really good map control and he has a blind. The blind is great. It really helps limit the incoming damage from... What's it called? From any enemy ID. Now, Urga gets banned because he has good range. He makes a great bottom lane champion because he can harass from a really good distance and tear faster makes him resistant to harass. Kha'Zix is a great assassin. Evolve Leap can get him over walls. He does a ton of damage but takes their fear. Cassidy, extraordinary mo extraordinarily mobile. Oops. Hey guys, look, overlays. I did it wrong. Um, Kassadin's extremely mobile. He has a silence. Does good damage. Excellent. That's why you ban him out because he's just so dang hard to kill. Eve... First DAP champion, very mobile. Jace, extremely durable, long range, hits for percent damage. Percent damage and true damage are probably the strongest things in this game mode because it sort of counteracts that everyone is durable. That seems to be the thing. Now, Wukong gets picked because he's a durable champion. He's got a good gap closer and he's got a nice AoE. He also has an armor reduction, which is great to have. Over on the other side, we're seeing Pantheon get picked. He's got a good gap closer with... Grand Skyfall, if he needs to suddenly, like, I need to be somewhere and save my teammates, and he comes down from the sky, possibly riding a Dracula. He's also got a stun, which is great, and it synchronizes really well with a lot of other champions. If you have a champion that doesn't really have a, a good gap closer, then you can go in with, with Pantheon, get that stun, ha ma make them a little bit delayed, help your team catch up to them. Additionally, he does really good damage as well. Xin Zhao... He's another champion that's just, he's durable, he can fight, he does damage, but sort of in a different way. I mean, he's got an airborne, he's got control, he's got CC. Seen Darius over there, Darius has a an interrupt with the apprehend. He's got a lot of armor pen, and he has true damage with his ultimate, and can clean up fights really well. Let's see what half hard picks. Hopefully it's something good. And we are going to see Zillion. And Zillion is a... He can be played as a really good AP mage. And he's got... He's got movement speed. He's got a slow. He has the ability to have teammates of his come back to... Come back to life. Which is really, really good. It's like a guardian angel type thing. So it's... It's really, really cool. And you can do a sort of a movement speed harass bat happy thing which is kind of neat, and it's really useful. But, I don't know, you can do you can go either way with Zillion. You can go, like, the double bomb, AP, you can go bomb, rewind, bomb, do a ton of damage that way, or you can go sort of for the back, happy, harass, interrupt style. You can do that defensive or offensively. Swain, I'm a big, big fan of Swain in Dominion, because Swain has sustain, he's durable, and can do a lot of damage. 
but looks like we're not going to see him. We're maybe going to see Vayne and Annie instead. We saw Annie in one of the games prior to this. Annie's burst damage was great. The stun combo was nice. We're seeing Buddha Rice highlight a bunch of things, so I can't talk about them. Renekton. Renekton's durable. He's got a stun. Does good damage. Renekton. You can champion. Now we're seeing Nocturne. Nocturne has a, a long-range jump with Paranoia, which is really good. Also, one of the trickier effects of Paranoia is the fact that it limits vision and blacks things out, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to aim things sometimes. So, it also makes it a little bit more difficult for, for that. Now, he has a fear, but it can be tethered, so sometimes it gets broken. His damage seems to be pretty good. Nocturne, I think, is makes for a very, very good chase. I like him a lot. And now, Wowix picking... What is that? What is that called? Um, Zyra. I knew it had a Z in it. Um, the plants are really good at defending towers. They are highly disruptive. Zyra has a ton of AoE, can do a bunch of damage. It's, it's pretty awesome. And we're seeing Zed. And I actually don't know anything about Zed. Zed was released while I was... While I was just not anywhere. My computer was down. has been down for like the most month or so. And I haven't seen anything about Zed since it came out. I don't know anything about him. I heard he has a, like a full map teleport and is melee. That's all I know, unfortunately. I'm sorry. And it looks like... Do you see any trades? If there are, I missed them. Let me screenshot this really quick. Game 2 packs versus Cheese Enema. Champ. Select screen. Dude. Okay. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at this now. Um, what am I seeing here? Well, Zen's got a cleanse, and I think cleanse is pretty good. As mentioned earlier, if you get... If you get stunned, nothing's gonna save you. You, you got stunned. Um, people, this is more of a Summoner's Rift thing, but... At Summoner's Rift, you always take flash on people. It's flash, 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 but I love cleanse for the following reason. If you get, like, stunned or silenced or any of this other stuff, you know what you can't do? You can't use your teleports. You can't do your... You can't do your things. You can't undo your summoner blockers. Thank you, Stormfallen. And if you pop cleanse, you can just get out with whatever your teleport is. But you could not do that if you took something else. Cleanse is great. I like it a lot. Seeing, um... Yeah, Half Heart likes to play AP champions, so I think that we're probably going to see him go with more of an actual AP focus build rather than the Pooter style of Zillion. Which means we're going to see AP damage, we're going to see big bombs, we're going to see back to back bombs, we're going to see some bombastic Zillion play. I could make a bunch of puns about how Half Heart's the bomb, but let's let's not do this because someone is about to set up. Pay Zevlin Child Support the bomb. I got about eight more. Let's let's not let's not let's not. But Zillion is gonna be able to offload a lot of damage, and being able to keep the focus target alive using his ultimate is gonna be really really helpful. I like it a lot. And I don't know who goes bottom lane in this. I don't. I don't know bottom laners as well, unfortunately. Um, I figure it would be. I don't know if Nocturne bottom lanes or not. Maybe it would be Nocturne Renekton. I'm not sure. I do like this Annie pick, though. Now, Annie... People always talk about Annie being troll pick, troll pick, troll pick, etc. And you know what? Annie... 
it's a very hit and run style of mage. You have to get in, you have to do some damage, you have to get back out, and you have to you have to kind of do that dance back and forth thing. And Molten Shield is great as a defensive spell. It's really, really useful and helps that sort of tankiness that you see in this game mode. So I think it synchronizes really well. And if you can play her properly, she can be just fine, which we've been seeing here recently. I'm going to switch the overlay really, really quick while the game transitions into the, uh, the game. It's all the info you need. Ooh, sorry, I know on. All the info you need right here, guys. Uh, Twitter, Dominate Dom. It's um right there. I see Chober's Twitter right there because he's cool, even though he's not here today. I'm still going to plug him a little bit. Dominate Dominion on Facebook. Dominate Dom on Twitter. We're going to see uh, Vato Clown on Twitter. That's my gaming client if you want to check me out there. You know, see a little ticker running down there. DominateDominion.com is the website. We do this every week. Weekly tournaments on Saturdays. It's free to enter. Bring your friends. you got to be at least level 30, though, to play. So you have to keep that in mind. We're seeing that loading screen right here. Do you guys want to see the loading screen? You get the loading screen. There we are. We're seeing Cheese Enema versus Pays Evelyn Child Support. This is game two of the finals of the DominateDominion.com League of Legends Dominion Tournament. Number 34. 34 weeks of Dominion being brought to you by DominateDominion.com, the Feed Ski, and with a little bit of help, Cyber Sports Network in there too. Uh, Lurch playing as Wukong, Half Hard playing as Zillion, Brown Bruiser playing as Darius, Wowix playing as Zyra, Krog playing as Nocturne with that new creepy red Nocturne skin that took over my splash screen for a while. And we're seeing Infeed with Renekton, Painkiller is Zin Zhao, Buddha Rice is Pantheon, Captain Boo Bear is Annie, Confederate is Zed, Star Tropics maybe? I forgot to mute my mic, but oh well. So we'll see how this game rolls out, popping into it right now. Let's look at this. Let's look at this Nocturne. Where's he at? He's over here, right? No, he was on the other one. I was over by it the first time. Okay, what's that? He looks like a uh, a lizard, kind of. What is up with this? Stop moving, Craig! Well, this is interesting looking. He has like a wavy energy tail and like a scaly thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. it looks kind of cool. As long as it like leaves like a crazy red trail, um, then it, I think it'll be neat. Fashion Vice Pantheon. Atar Fashion Vice Pantheon. It's pretty cool. Chat, I love you guys. You're, the favorite, you're my favorite part of this entire broadcast. I'm glad I can have the uh, Twitch window open. So much laugh spam. It's not, everyone's la spamming laugh. I, look at its face. It's like an owl. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna see Nocturne. Wow, Nocturne, like, you spin me right round, Nocturne. Right round. Like a void creature, baby. Right round, round, round. Alright. So looks like Renekton's gonna go down. Uh, to the bottom. Alright. The battle has begun. Let's follow this red team up. I'm gonna double click Zin so I don't have to hold my mouse button. Zin Zhao, there we go. No, not gonna double click. I'm just killing the thing. I'm double click. Annie! Annie gets double clicked! Gonna follow these guys. Who's the Zed guy? He looks like Talon. Are you sure it's not just Talon in disguise? Red team's Pretty sure it's Talon in disguise. Whoop! Oh gosh. And they start capping. And oh, shoot that speed thing on oh, half part right there. Go locking down Captain Blueberry right away. Getting that snare in, doing a lot of damage. We're seeing that bomb right there going off on Captain Blueberry. And the Rice gets the bomb! Gonna jump right in onto Wowix right there, gets exhausted, takes a whole bunch of damage, his health getting perpetually lower and lower and lower. Half hard helping out, got that auto attack right there, taking him down with the help of his teammates right there. Painkiller now getting low on health, a little bit worse for the wear. Confidarius as Zed goes in there, does some stuff that I'm not quite sure what it is. Takes a whole bunch of damage, gets hit by Zyra's AoE right there, bomb taking him down with the help of Darius. And half hard getting up the kill on Annie right there, but the revives are coming out. Pantheon already back up in the top, looking to get. Connected with Brown Bruiser right there, but Lurch is gonna dive in on him, hit him right away, pop that crushing blow off, reduce that armor right there, and he's gonna go in for Wowix, he might be able to secure the kill, yes, is successful on that, Lurch is gonna try and stealth out, but the tower is neutral, and it does reveal people when it's neutral, regardless of which side they're on, half hard sticking his head out and getting something for his troubles, and come on, there's the bomb right there on Panzers, and they're gonna... They're gonna take this top point, maybe, 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 yep, we're gonna get that top point. Brown Bruiser getting stunned, though, right there, and he's showing him what's up. Wow, it's gonna lock down Confidaris right there, put some damage in on him, 
and Confidant's gonna throw some sort of shot at him that... Okay, look, I really don't know what this guy does, I'm sorry. Um, Razor sure Shuriken does a thing. I can't read it, it's too small on my screen. Oh, crap! Zed does stuff. Down at the bottom right here, got the fear going off on them. Infi does get feared right there. I'm exchanging some blows. Nothing seems too terrible right there, but Pantheon hanging out just outside of my sight. Looking for a good open to try and go down there and engage. Whoa, that's really cool looking graphic. Pantheon coming down, coming down. Are we going to see him? Yes, going in for the tower, going in for the easy kick. Stun. Yes, grabs him, gets him with the Heart Seeker Strike. Just needs one spear to win. He's waiting for the exhaust to wear off before he throws it, though. Nocturne blocks it with the shield. Nice. And now, Budavai's by himself with Lurch and Brown Burst down here in the bottom lane. Infi's a little bit too far away there. He's a little bit long enough so he can't contribute too much to the fight. Brown Burst are trying to get away right there. Lurch chasing him all the way on up to that health relic. Don't say the L word. It scares me when you do that. Okay. Up at the top here we got Sin Zhao. Chillin. We got Half Hearted. Time Warping. We got Nocturne. Void Creaturing. Down here in the bottom of the map. And I see tons of Long Swords and Brutalizers and Prospector's Blades. It feels like it's going to be another Black Cleaver type of day. Up here at the top end of the map, Pat Buddha Rice. Walking around and down here. Oops, Zyra checking the bush. Not finding anyone. Captain Blueberry right there. Oh, stunned! No. Darius getting denied right there. Making sure he's not able to ram that apprehend and try and combo. But down at the bottom right here. Nocturne coming in. Down to the bottom point. Trying to defend it. Goes right in for Confidars. Turns his attention to Infi. Gets the interrupt off right there. And you can see him immediately hits that revive. Turns around. Comes right back on the bottom. Crowd just don't stop. Won't stop. Trying to get these guys away from this point down here, but Confidaris is Zed doing a bunch of damage right there. Gets the fear, gets the the effect off on him, pops that shield, turns around. Wants to make sure that uh Yeah, there's a 95% chance of Black Cleaver Storm. It's kinda like Crow Storm on the scarier. Wow, it's and Lurch gonna take that drill right there. And now we have a symmetrical map. With the two bottom points red, one top point red, and the two left points are blue da ba dee da ba da. Goes in right there, and there's that dash in from Xin Zhao. Pops with that air button half hard. He's going to have that ultimate ready to go right there, but he's going to... What? Nope, he's going to die. Anyway, almost escaped that right there. Lurch and Lavix able to take care of business every day. Going to go up here, going to maybe get this quest objective point. We will see. Captain Blueberry's Annie is coming up from the bottom and gets snared, and everything bad happens to her at once. Snare, airborne, airborne. Lots of things. And uh, Brown Bruce doesn't get a piece of the action, unfortunately. He's going to late to the party. Uh, Prankster, there's usually, um, between 8 and 16. You know, it varies depending upon what else is going on the weekend. Uh, down here, Krowlog and Infeed having a disagreement of swords. Infeed getting a little bit of extend extended, uh, there. Getting feared by Krowlog. half is able to come down and help put inspect the damage on him. Throwing those little wrenches or whatever the heck it is that he has with his auto attack to do some chip damage in and help him out. Top end of the map. Brown Bruiser gets stunned. Painkiller coming in. Wants to get that airborne off on him as well. Yes! Cleans him up. Darius getting taken down. Gonna go for that capture right now. We've got minions. Are they gonna get that neutral? Yes. Comfort Arius dies. Buddha Rice goes in for the stun immediately. Tower gets captured by Painkiller. Windmill is secured. Down at the bottom. Half hard. Almost died. But it was okay. Um, you root for Inferic, you root for Annie. Or you root for Root. Whipping those vines out. Love that sound effect. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, KDR, I'm so noob. I'm the worst caster at A, guys. Infi taking some damage. Spreading that stuff all over the place, making Nocturne not have collision. Annie coming up from the back. Let's take a look at what Annie's got going on. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Up to the top. There's a little bit of a fight going on up here right now. And Annie coming in from behind. This is Timber's bait right there. Gets the incinerate. Does some good damage right there. Defensive garrison is thrown down on the tower to defend it. And she's gonna try and take care of Brown Bruiser right there. Just needs one A. Annie, you got it. Yes, Annie taking down Darius over there. And now over here, just a little bit further away. Half hard is trying to kill Confidarius. Isn't quite able to do so, but he's gonna run into Annie on the way back. 
Safety mode! Annie helping out her friend right there. He's able to escape with a little bit of a ninjutsu pile puff of smoke thing that leaves a trail on the ground. Crowlog is still in the bottom lane, because that's what bottom lane is supposed to do. In the bottom lane. That is the creepiest and coolest spell effect right there. It's just like... It's awesome. New Nocturne skin, pretty cool. I wish it was a little bit more red, but... You can't have everything. Uh-oh, Painkiller knows exactly what's going on. He's got the intel, he's scouted out. Brumbzer hates plants. Stabbing it. And... Cheese Enema! Let's stay out of sight. Which team is which? I play Dominion, but I'm new to Dominate Dominion. The team on the left is Cheese Enema, the team on the right is Pays Evelyn Child Support. And Brown Bruiser and Painkiller are having a discussion, and Half Heart has a supporting argument for you. Oh, pulls him back with the apprehend. Gets him right in range to have a bomb placed on him. Nice move right there. Down at the bottom, Lurge puts some hurt on Confidaris and forces him down away from the point. infeed has got something to say about that. Lurge doesn't want to listen. There comes Nocturne in from the side, right there with that paranoia. Almost kills Confidaris outright with those Umbra Blades. But isn't, just barely isn't able to do so. And Lurch cleaning it up! Get the Windex! Gotta leave that streak free shine. Lurch cleans that up so nice down there in the bottom lane from uh, what Nocturne started. Brown, or not Brown, Bruce, excuse me. Half hard, painkiller survival metholing out with just two digit hit points. Captain Blueberry, just good enemy play all tournament long. So strong! And he's been doing a really good job in this tournament so far, and Pays Ellen Child Support has been holding on to this lead pretty solidly. Sin Zhao gonna pick up the Storm Shield. When you're ahead, get more ahead. You don't want to overextend yourself. You don't want to take any risks. That way, Annie is staying up here, mostly around the windmill. You know, wants to make sure that she doesn't get caught anywhere. And we can see black cleavers as far as the eye can see. So many black cleavers. And Zed. Gonna get intercepted down here by Half Hard. Half Hard throwing out the damage, but Confidaris just mainly that auto attack is so strong. Zed has got a Black Cleaver and a Boots of Swiftness. I don't know why Boots of Swiftness are so popular all of a sudden. Infi gets exhausted. This doesn't look good for him. He can't quite get away. He just used his dash. Is he gonna be able to have it up in time to clear the distance? No, he's not. He's going to get shut down. Confidaris coming around from the side. There's a little teleporty, warpy, shadow cloney. What the heck, ninja thing going on right there? That's probably like his ultimate or something, because that can't be a normal thing. There's a bracket, I can't leak it to you right now, because I'm casting, Prankster. Both teams active on the map right now. There's no one up at the windmill. It's a race to see who is going to get there first. It looks like Wukong might be able to do so, but Confidaris is going to be right there to defend it. And right there goes with the Nimbus Strike, but isn't really able to get a lot of damage in on it. Confidaris is able to hit him, but nothing severe happens. And oh, we might have a engagement in the middle of the map. Painkiller sees exactly what's going on. Budweiser is coming around from the top right there. Captain Blueberry gets the stun if on half hard right there. Painkiller follows up with an airborne of his own. He is snared though. Got the ultimate from Zillian. Gonna bring him back up into the fight while Brown Bruce's HP plummets. Free falling right off of Mount Everest right there. Lurch in with the spin, spin monkey. Gets a nice airborne off. Solid crowd control. Forces Captain Blueberry out of the fight. Gets a kill on. Uh, helps get a kill on. Um, what is that guy's name? A dude died! And now. Buddha Rice and Confidaris are over here, but Lurch is gonna try and finish off Buddha Rice. Is he gonna be able to do so? No. He's gonna get away. And he's gonna recall right on the gosh darn freaking spot. Infeed's gonna neutral tower! Success! And he's gonna back away because it's not gonna deal with Darius right now. And she's gonna make a play for this top point up here. They really want to turn this around because it's quite objective, but Painkiller! From freaking nowhere, just dashes it right off the screen, puts a bunch of hurt on Wowix, forces Wowix away from the fight. And Confidaris is going to try and uh, harass a little bit. Oh, Captain Booberry almost denied right there. And they just keep falling back. That point up at the top is so well defended. Cheese Enema really doesn't have any way to push up against it right now. Pays on Child Support is very firmly in control. And that's the most dangerous pushes ever there. And another engagement. There's going to be the Zyra Ultimate coming up right now. Pops the balls up into the air. Buddha Rice thinks it's not looking so good for him right now. And Buddha Rice gets taken down. Panzer, not Panzers. Nocturne picking up the double kill. Krawog picking that up. And Captain Blueberry trying to retreat up to the top point right there. But is he going to be able to get there in time? He's trying to finish off Lurch as best as he can. He's waiting for an ability to come up. But no! 
not able to seal the deal, but he's able to buy enough time for Confederate to try and close the distance to take out Logic is successful in doing so. And now Confederate and Brown Bros are going to have a disagreement. Buddha Rice is going to come up from behind and try and deliver that stun, but he's not able to get there in time to interrupt Darius's ultimate right there, which is one spear shot. Are you going to bring it? Yes. It has been brought and Darius going down. Pays Evelyn Child Support once again, able to defend the top point. And now I have to breathe for a second. Run out of oxygen and feel dizzy. Captain Booberry taking the storm shield. Sitting down in the middle of the map. Scout hanging out down the street. The same last game we did last week. Renekton, I'm scared for you. In feet, half hard, coming around from the back. Gets him with the bombs right there. Crowd is able to get in range. He does pop the ultimate, however, but he does get feared and exhausted right after that. One crowd control after the other. Chain them right in the road to make sure there's always some form of CC on him at a time. Does not escape because of the bomb on him right there. And now Confidaris is able to pick up the kill on Nocturne there. half hard is going to back away. He's going to regroup with Brown Bruiser. Brown Bruiser is going to come down. Can we see an apprehend? Are we going to see it? We use the speed increase there on Brown Bruiser so we can try and close in the distance. He wants to get as close as Confidaris as he can, but no, he's going to break off seeing that Buddha Rice has arrived. He doesn't want to try and get into that fight right there. Buddha Rice's presence alone is enough to scare him away. And Painkiller's survival method staying along with just a little bit longer than he should have right there. Can't move very Yes! Successful Captain Booberry able to take down Nocturne. That Tibbers aura really help it out. That AA help it out right there. Annie auto attack is strong. Annie, get out of there. I'm scared for you. Wowbox has the plants. You are nine. It's dangerous. Down on the bottom end of the map, some more stuff happened, but I did see it because there's two pieces looking at Annie killing people. Annie getting pursued up to the top by Wowbox. And Wowbox is able to connect. This is going to take her out. And now, in across the map, right there, Lurch comes in and shuts down Pantheon. Wanted to make sure that tower was absolutely positive with 100% to bed, and Confidar is blowing up Krawag right there. Uh, getting taken down in the exchange, though. Krawag does have the ultimate from Half-Hard. Good guy, Half-Hard, saving his partner right there, enabling them to move up and take care of Renekton after that Infeed going down, and they're going to pick up this bottom tower. And up at the top end of the map, they were able to kill off Infeed, so they're going to pick up the top tower, too. They're going to have control over four points, stopping their clock at 44, and now, Pay's Evelyn Child Support is going to begin to tick down. Wants to see about recapping that point. Is he going to be able to do so? There's so many members of the enemy team right there. Confidaris goes right in for Avar. Wants to get the damage on him, but he's taking so much damage in exchange. That tower was also helping contribute to the decreasing of his HP pool. And Buddha Rice has been slowed. He's got the bomb on him. Drop the bomb on him. Infeed going to take this tower back. Because it is his tower there, many like it, but that one in this particular game happens to belong to Infeed and you know, throw some damage in there on half hard, but Krog is right there and then Krog is a really scary champion. Buddha Rice gets bombed, takes Rankings some damage. The and now with three points, two. Pays on shot support, still in a pretty good spot. They still have a very firm lead and are going to be able to bring this game back pretty easily. I can't tap out of the stream. Up at the top here. Painkiller and Captain Booberry, they're going up. They know that Wowix is up here. Down at the bottom, though, completely different engagement. Krawag getting shut down. And now Wukong coming in, throws down the airborne, does a bunch of damage right there. Is able to pick up the kill on Pantheon, however. And there we go. We see that right there. There is the ultimate from Half Hard saving him right there, bringing Lurch right back into the fight. Infeed has to recall. He can't really put up against that. And now, up at the top end of the map, with Zyra being taken down, Captain Booberry and Painkiller are going to pull off the neutral and. The full cap on is paused. The what the pause happened here. I'm gonna wander off. I'll tab for a second. I'm sorry. So there's a pause right here. The top point is neutral, and the two towers, two towers. There's gonna go three towers, two towers. Pays a little child support. We'll have to hold on to it for a little while. In order to like win the game. If they pick up this point right here, all they gotta do is hang on to this thing for a little bit, defend a couple of pushes. They can even have a few bad trades. Yeah, it should work out okay. Now Zillion is trying to go for that bottom point. He's gonna put some pressure down there. But I don't know if it's a back cap or if it's just a, a pressure move. Especially with Renekton being that close. I mean Zillion, I don't think, is going to be able to get that. Now, Renekton doesn't have a garrison available to him. 
In fact, um, their whole team doesn't actually have their garrison available because the garrison is on Pantheon for the sort of Skyfall garrison play. Which means Zillia might be able to get a little bit of cap in down there on the Boneyard, but then it's going to be like, you know, whatever. Redactus is going to come down and chase him away. Now, hmm, Darius is over there. Really? Oh yeah, it's never over in Dominion. We've seen two point comebacks. I don't think we've ever seen a one point comeback in Attorney though. At least not that got cast. I know they've happened. All right, the game has unpaused. The thing is still capturing. Not enough black cleavers. A game of black cleavers, and there we go. Exactly, getting boarded off by reacting. Just like I said, brown versus coming up from right behind, as well. Gonna get that dunk. Yeah, sort of. Got the dunk in a decimate combo. Confederate's got the Zed right there, but crowd coming right over the wall. Just all the damage gets the fear off, but crowd takes the damage in return from Buddha Rice's Pantheon. And a crowd can do a lot of damage, but not with that much people around him. Captain Blueberry's trying to get him. Oh, the spell shield right there. Nope, Tivers! Have you seen my bear, the feral yeti? Oh, no, not quite. Top end of the map. Wow, it says, nope! Pantheon stun! Get stabbed, get stabbed, get stabbed. Lurch is alive, somehow. It's totally fine. Let's see who's coming around from behind, and Z I didn't even, where did, how did he move that? I don't understand what happened there. Zed was at the bottom of the map, and then he was anywhere, and then Lurch lived again. Like, poof. I, I don't know, man. It's, that was crazy. And they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna stop the clock again! At 11 point, oh, scumbag Infi doesn't want you to have your tower. Ask for a refund. Did you keep the receipt? I hope you did. Captain Booberry gonna try and keep him away right there. Crowd should probably go for the cap. Nope, he wants to, but Captain Booberry has something to say about that. It's an auto attack. 11 to 241. She's only can still conceivably win this. We've seen we've seen worse comebacks than this. Are they gonna cap on the tower again? Nope! He wants an in-feed sandwich. Just paranoid is right in on him, takes him out, makes sure to secure that kill. Up at the top end of the map, though, Robux and half are trying to take care of defensive garrison, healing that tower up right there. Which is going to make it difficult for Painkiller to take control of it. Whoa, he dashed off the screen right there, and Wowix is gonna get the Gutex! Nope! Did not land that last hit right there. Turns around, goes back out of the top. Captain Blueberry and Painkiller are gonna be able to turn this around. All they gotta do is get one point neutral, hold it for a team fight's worth of time, and they should be able to secure the game. And now they have it! Can they hold on to it? This is going to be sort of the last attempt that they have to win. Zyro, that old placement was just very unfortunate! And Wowix is going to the minions, they're so strong! Minions! MVP! Zyra getting chased away, and Pace Evelyn Child Support is going to be your winners of the DominantDominion.com League of Legends Dominion Tournament number 34 here on uh, DominantDominion.com on the Twitch channel. Follow Dominate Dominion on Twitter at DominateDom. Go like them on Facebook, Dominate Dominion. And uh, they got a YouTube channel. You can see VODs there, youtube.com slash Dominate Dominion. You can follow my gaming clan. I'm Gander of the gaming clan, Vato Clan. Special shout out to uh, Geklamek, Zephyr, and Bandito. And a little bit to myself. We all threw together some money. We bought this streaming machine. It still needs a little a couple of components, but it seems to be okay. So we could bring these games to you today. And, uh, yeah, you'll see some VODs on my channel and some other Dominion things on uh, the clan's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash VatoClan. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to take a look at the post-game lobby screen for anybody that is interested in that. And, uh, we'll take a brief look at that before ducking out for today. Toots. That was game two. It was 2 0. Okay. So, no, no, that was that was the finals. We they, they won. It was a game of Black Cleavers. I'm going to screenshot these two things uh, really, really quickly and then take the stream down and say, the, hey, thank you for watching. Um, if you guys like the stream, I encourage you to come and check us out again next week for uh, DominateDominion.com League of Legends Tournament. Number 25 will be uh, next week uh, right here on this same Twitch channel that you're watching right now. The in game chat channel on North America server is. Uh, Dominate Dominion, you go right here to find it, you click this button, you click this button, you type in Dominate Dominion, and it will take you right over to here, and you can hang out with all of us dudes, there's like 200 of us, we all play Dominion, and 
stuff like that will be uh, will be pretty cool. What is this? I have no idea. They made items that I don't know. And uh, take a look at the grids uh, real quick. Dudes. Dudes. Ah, uh, wop. There we go. Put over to here. Go over to, nope. File new, control S. No, nope, cancel. I'm taking screenshots of the thing. No. Nope. 34. No, nope, 34. I'm typing in the wrong stuff, guys. Yeah, bring your friends, come out. It's free dinner. Might win some RP. Might get your game cast. You can be like, hey, man, I play in tournaments. Get a chance to play with these guys. Come join the chat channel. We do more things than just competition. Um, there's weekday streams by uh, Oni Snake, uh, Nyx, and some other people I don't remember. I'm so sorry. But on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, DominateDominion.com, you can see some Dominion gameplay there. And once in a while, um, I'll throw together like a community stream thing on, you know, sometimes Wednesday nights, sometimes Friday nights. And I do other Dominion media and stuff like that. So for all things Dominion, you want to hang out on that chat channel and uh, check us out. Have we got any closing comments or questions or anything like that that you want to throw at me in the Twitch chat real quick before we sign off? No, I, I clicked it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. What the? Okay, I have this thing right here. It's this, this. What? Alrighty. Go back over the thing. Do 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 do. Alrighty. Okay. Well, reading, 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 reading. Uh, yeah. Black cleavers seem to be the thing of thing. Nope. That was the finals. And uh, I guess I will see you all next week, right here, same Dominion time, same Dominion channel. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching. Normally someone else says that. I didn't realize I had to say it. It's weird. It's weird.